Hello YouTube, I am Eli the Fatigued. I am joined by Jabba the Pirate Thief. Hi. And Alex. Hello. Both of them are from my D&D group, and we just stopped playing D&D not too long ago, and I still wanted to stream and play games, so here we are with another of Eli's observations, Loop Hero. I've been hearing a lot of hype about this game. I've seen a number of people, uh, other, other people recording and streaming this, and I wanted to give it a try. It was, you know, on sale, and yeah, it looked really cool, honestly. So, let's give it a try. The stars in the sky are going out one by one. But no one notice it, notices it. No one can stop it. I'm racing to the last place where there's still hope. I need to make it before before it is too late. Sounds of agony will quickly fade. The world will be destroyed. Even the memory of it will be gone. And even if there is absolutely no chance of bringing it all back, there will always be someone who is willing to do the impossible. In a place without space. Without time. Without memories. Where am I? I can't see anything except this path. My head is killing me. I remember only a skeleton with a staff in the sky. This darkness was coming from him. Did he destroy everything around here? Just standing here won't do me, me any good, I guess. Oh, Alice Munoz, 72. Thanks for the follow. You change between adventure, traveling through the map, and planning, stop modes. Press the switch, right click, or space. Continue your journey by changing the game mode. I like that, that's cool. Hope I'll be able to find some shelter before nightfall. If such thing as night still even exists without a sky, of course. Pay attention to the day progress bar at the top of the screen. New enemies usually appear at the end of the day. Continue your journey by changing the game mode. Space, right click, mode switch. Okay, cool. <clears throat> a living ball of slime. Quite a nuisance. They, ju they digest anything they can. Hey, I remember this creature. Maybe I just need to freshen up my memory and everything neat will go back to normal. Traveling, fighting. And most other actions are done automatically. The player can affect them directly. Interesting. This is actually really cool. It's hard to fight with your bare hands. I think there's a weapon in the remains of this thing that's not fully digested. I think I remember that there was a grove nearby. Are these even my memories, or do they belong to that slime? You can use cards that are left after defeating enemies to add various new objects to the map. That's what planning mode is for. Drag the card to a suitable space to remember the land. Interesting. <clears throat> now continue my journey. Rat wolf, wolf rat. Forest Rat Wolf. I was right. Some emotional stress, a few color Im colorful images, and a bit of adrenaline, and everything will be forgotten like a bad dream. Or remembered as a bad... Dang. It's good that nobody is listening. <laughs> you can get new items and cards during battle, as you've probably already noticed. Some items have unique abilities, as do most of the cards. By hovering over an item and card, you can expect its properties. <laughs> Stone, Gladius, ah, extra damage. 
Great. So there was a mountain over there, and here's a forest. The world is just like new, but branches and stones in my backpack are a sure sign of that. Some of your actions will yield resources that you will need later on, but not right now. But that just shouldn't stop you from looking at them right now. Stop you from looking at them right now. Continue your journey. I'm gonna hop up the call. All right. you know, have fun. Yeah, talk to you later, man. Bye bye. I think it's time to get some later. rest. <clears throat> All right, went ahead and left the call as well since the other person, Alex, is muted. The game itself is a journey and a looped on a looped path. Only you will decide when it's time for the hero to return to the camp. Either you or the fangs and claws of your enemies, of course. You can retreat almost any time, but a special animation will let you know when it's safer to do so. Retreat to the camp by pressing the button. The thought of leaving the battlefield and going back to your cozy camp has passed through your mind. What a timely idea. The camp is just around the corner. Retreat. You keep all resources. cold and dark here. A small fire can solve both these problems. Nice place to set up camp. This is when all resources you gather will come in handy. Who would have thought? You have just enough wood and stones to make a campfire. What a nice coincidence. Build a campfire using the building function while in a camp. <coughs> Congratulations, you beat this an you've beaten this annoying tutorial. You can now start your first expedition, or not. Do as you wish. Let's go. This path, everything is wrong, but I remember! It looks like a completely different place, and it's empty again. Do my actions have any meaning? Yeah, that's a... Existential crisis, if I've ever heard one. Like, I have a choice. If I need to give up and cry to save the world, I'm the worst savior of all. Let's do this. Oh, it pauses when I'm hovering over items. Interesting. Alright. thing, I guess, really. Come on.
<laughs> Honestly, yeah, this is interesting. I like it so far. I've never really played many roguelikes, but... I, I do like it so far. Seems fun and technical. I like technical stuff. Interesting. <clears throat> that's a day, and that's the boss map completion or whatever. Interesting. Interesting. Hello. Damage and vampirism? Yeah.
kill things faster. Defense attack, speed evasion, counter regen, and vampirism. Regen. Evasion's good, attack speed's good. The counter's also good, and so is the regen and vampirism. <clears throat> Especially with the damage to all. It's definitely interesting. And for my first real introduction to a roguelike series, it's... It's cool. And they attack fast. Damage to all is really good, but extra defense is also good. <laughs> Damage to all is really good, but regen and higher damage is also good. <laughs> and this is where I, I learned that keeping the damage to all would have been better, huh? these First one to see if doing anything with the meadows is good. Then maybe the treasures. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. <clears throat> no, putting the meadows like that is pointless. Gotcha. So I know that some terrain tiles have interactions with each other. Oh, here we go. Fire damage and damage to all.
Ghosts are terrible, and I hate them. Yeah, that's pretty good. <clears throat> oh, the chests are attacking back now. Oh, it's a mimic. Interesting. Vampirism, regen, defense, and HP. Goblin can be eh? interesting. I don't think I placed that. Air damage, evasion, and vampirism. Game stall's good, but stop or no stop. Where did these goblins come from? I don't remember remembering you. We remembered ourselves. Now give us all you've got. Sigh. So, you have no idea what's going on, right? Why don't you help me restore order in this world first, and then you can do anything you want. Goblin must rob. No other order in the world. Fair enough. Guess I don't have any valid objection here. Dot dot dot. Oh wait, I do have one. How about... Die! Oh my gosh, you attack fast. Ow, Chihuahua. It's strange how these creatures appeared here on their own. Maybe it means everything is actually not so bad and that the world is trying to restore itself. Or that even the ap apocalypse isn't enough to get rid of some pests. <clears throat> My HP looks low, but it's actually not. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. I don't know what that is, though. I need to. I want to hover over it. Mountain Peak, a stone giant, could support the sky itself if it weren't already gone. Plus 120 HP and 5 additional HP for every adjacent mountain and rock tile spawns a harpy every two days. Oof. <clears throat> and they're getting to be powerful. 53 damage! Oof. Regen per second, no vampirism, damage to all though, and magic damage. Let's upgrade. Oh, vampire. Back off, human. A vampire? Where are your lands? If you, your farmers need help, I would be glad to offer it. No more lands, no more flock. Only hundreds of years of emptiness. And hundreds of years of hunger. Dot, dot, dot. Save yourself while you still can. I don't know how long I'll be able to keep my head straight. What hundreds of years are you talking about? Your mind is easy to trick, but you can't trick my hunger. It demands its share. Every sip, every drop of blood will go to satiate it. 
I'm too weak, but you can help me and I will set this crumbled world right. Right, I'm just not for just myself, but for everyone in the name of good. So be grateful for my hard work and just let me bleed you dry. Vampires kept their lands and they helped keep peace and creating prosperity. I didn't read that, sorry, but I summed it up. But this won't do at all. Now they are just pale shadows of their former selves. Ha, ah, because vampires are pale. Both physically and mentally. Apparently the blood of other creatures can't sustain them. He wasn't joking about the hunger. Even the creatures that stand near him are imbued with the power to devour someone else's life. Interesting. I can safely keep going where I have been. I'm really tempted just to try another loop. But they're getting a blood path. Wow. Was that because it's two battlefields overlapping each other? That might be. Yeah, not only ghosts are created on the battlefields. Spawns a blood clot every four days. Okay, because it's the battlefield's overlapping, that's why. Interesting. The different interactions are really cool. I think I don't I don't think I can risk it. Well my HP is not technically low. They did hit me really hard this day, so... I, mean, I got a lot of resources, honestly. Can't believe it. Hey everybody, the boy has managed to return. Okay, so that is a boy. Pretty sure that's a girl. The boy has managed to return. Survivors? Does this mean I'm not alone anymore? Where'd you come from? Is there still a place without darkness? We don't know where we came from. We don't know where we came from, or we can't remember. These people you see are only a small part of what's left of the group, I think. You're not sure? We're not sure we reached that conclusion because of the abandoned luggage and leftover daily rations. With each day, new signs of presence or people that, as far as everyone here knows, have never even been with us. It's like we forgot them. You forgot? Exactly. It's like people disappear every day and we instantly forget they even existed, almost as if we forgot the place we came from and our families. And maybe even ourselves. My name is Yota. That's the part I still remember. Nobody else's memory is in much better shape. That's why I remember so little about myself. Everything is forgotten. But wait, you said that I'd managed to return. That means you remembered I was here? Yes, that's why it's so important to us. We saw you leave, but you were gone before we could approach you. Listen, we can't wander around in this emptiness anymore. There's a campfire and a few sleeping bags here. A real luxury in these dark times. What do you say? Oh, of course. I'd be very grateful if we could team up. I want to restore everything. I've begun to remember the world as it was before. But there's no point to it without other people. It's too lonely without them. Remembering the world? I don't understand what you're talking about. 
I'm too exhausted. But we'd be glad if you could help us, and we'd be glad to help you. Just don't ask us to go with you. I don't know how you managed to return, but for us, leaving the group is too dangerous. I will ask no such thing of you. For now, I just want you... Yeah, for now, I just want to have a place to return to. A place where I can hear other people's voices. That's fair. <clears throat> you weren't joking about helping you. There are a few things that survived the cataclysm and don't vanish away. Can't be forgotten. Take them. You might need them. Resources. Alright. I think that's where we're going to stop this episode. Is really cool, and there's a lot to build from what I remember, yeah. Like, I, I do like this game. And if you guys like this game, you know, leave a like, leave a comment, and or subscribe to my channel. And maybe, just maybe, if it gives another, enough support, I'll, play, I'll definitely play some more of this. I mean, I will eventually as well. Like, I like this game, it's really cool. It's my first introduction to roguelikes, and... Yeah, it's really cool. Thanks for watching. I've been Eli Fatigue. You've been awesome. I've been joined by the people over on Twitch, and I was joined at the beginning by my D&D friends, but they had to go. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.